Hello and welcome to this Blender Low Poly tutorial. This is actually part of a longer series, so if you haven't watched the previous episodes, you may want to have a look at those first. Let's continue where we left off. We're going to take this guy, the Saxon, shift click and select the armature and do control P. And we want to do armature deform with automatic weights. And now it should already be hopefully quite good. Um, control tab, it should already deform fairly well. Uh, Blender does a decent job to detect and weigh the vertices um, to make sure the deformation and the deformation in the arm looks good so far. Alt art is not back. Uh, let's see the hand. Hand moves uh, too much of the arm possibly. It's not a disaster, but it's, it could be better. And the thumb moves too much of the arm as well, so we need to fix that. The, this one looks decent. Okay, let's just test a few things here. Let's see the head. It's not bad. Neck. Neck moves a little bit too much of the body, possibly. Let's see the spine. Spine is not bad. Spine. That one's good too. Pelvis rotates the whole body anyway. Let's see the leg. Okay, the leg moves too much of the body, so we need to fix that. That's not bad with the leg. A little bit too much, maybe. And the foot is also quite good. Okay, so let's start fixing these things that we need to fix in. First of all, the head should definitely not move anything apart from the head. So we should definitely, we click on here and do uh, object mode. We go into weight paint. And then we set the weight to zero. We have the head bone selected and we ensure that there's nothing on this guy's clothes here that is painted. Okay, I think we might just paint away the whole base here as well to make sure that there's nothing on the neck because the neck can move then. His chest is moving a bit. It shouldn't. Still moving. Can't see why it should. No, nope. fixed. Let's look at the front view. I use the numpad one, three, and seven to rotate this, and I'm in. Five here orthographic mode I like to be in this one instead of the perspective I like to be in orthographic so it's just perfectly aligned let's try the neck here let's take away any clothes movements from the neck still moving the chest here and moving stuff down here moving here. There, my chest. That's it. Shoulder still. Sometimes it's tricky to see. The uh, best thing to do, I think, is to just move this up and down. Okay. And then the, we had some issues with the hand, I think. So the hand moves a bit too much of the arm here. Or at least I think so. Let's save first. Oops. Start by zeroing this out altogether. Slight hand arm movement, I guess, is alright, but let's see. That's too much still. Okay. 
Okay, it's still moving. To figure out why it's moving over here. Now it's because this one's still moving. Maybe I still need so the glove deforms. You know, I don't. Yeah, I think that, that should be alright. Okay, okay. That's okay, the muscles uh, move a little bit there as well. See, that looks all right. That looks all right. Alt R to re or reset the post, Alt R, Alt G. That's okay. It is okay. That should be okay, I think. Thumb, thumb moves way too much of the hand here, so we don't need that. Let's remove that. Now I'm in symmetry mode now, so so whatever I do here should uh, should work on this arm as well. Should be in mirror because uh, the I've got both the character itself uh, or the character is still in uh, symmetry mode, so or in mirror. Okay, it still moves over here, which it shouldn't. A little bit less. Here. If you click, so you don't click in the center, you click up towards the edge of the circle a bit, then it doesn't uh, apply the full strength, so. So this is just fiddly to make sure you get, you have to just keep testing. Um, until you get it to the way you want it to be. Oh, this one might be still affecting. So that looks good with the thumb. That looks good now. Just a little bit less there and probably there. Do. Oh, I had some movement on this side of the hand, which we shouldn't have. So even though Blender does uh, quite a good job of mapping everything, there's usually tweaking to be done. If you're in a rush, if you're doing like a Luden there or something, you don't have to be so picky as this at all. But since I'm doing a game character that I'm going to be using in a game now, then I might as well. Or I need to do it right. So let's make sure that the collarbones and the arm doesn't need to affect anything down here on the body. Or on the back. And then it needs to affect a lot less here. Here it's actually deforming a little bit strange, and it's because, by the looks of it, um, I've got the joint a bit wrong, possibly. 
Yeah, I need to have this arm joint further out, I think. Or I need to... Actually, that's what I think I'll do, is I'll modify the mesh. To bring this in a little bit. And I probably still need some movement, so let's do 0 0.2 here. Nope. Mark. 0 0.2. at all so let's do the spine. Should move these a little bit more. So let's do weight 0 0.3. Yep. Yeah. And this needs to go zero because we need to remove any movement down here. Little movement, it's okay. I think. No, nothing on the legs. Okay, that should be good. And let's do the legs. Here's where it needs to move a lot less in the body, I think. Yeah, I think that should do. Um, this leg should already be yeah, the symmetry. Let's do this. Yeah, that'll do. 
And then let's see the leg here. That was already quite good, I think. Oh, uh, zero on the weights. And then maybe slightly less there. That's still too much. That's probably better. Okay, and then the foot. Foot is quite good. It doesn't take away the shoe or anything like that. So yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Um, tab to get out and let's try again to move this a little bit with the texturing on. Um, so we need to go into just object mode again. Okay, we still got some movement. I guess that's all right. You don't really move the collarbone this extremely anyway, so. But we do need to remove it down there just Weight paint. That should do it. Yeah, that's okay, I think. No, let's take away that. Let's not be lazy. Uh, vertex paint. No, not vertex paint. Weight paint. Let's make sure that there's nothing down here. From the collarbone. Now we should be safe. Make sure. There we go. Object mode. Tab. Why is it moving down there? Ah, I know why. It's because the arm is linked to it. That's the perpetrator. So that can trick you a little bit sometimes. It's a dependent bone. So I'm going to weight paint, select this arm, and now I make sure that everything's gone here. And now object mode. That's not moving down there. That's okay. Okay, here we go. Save. So now we're done with the, we've created the armature and we have also created the bones. Well, that's the same thing. We've created the bones, the armature, and we have weight painted and skinned this character now as well. So I'm quite happy with everything. The way it looks, yeah, should be good. Let's try the legs again. Yeah. Great. Okay, now we're gonna do some extra bones for the legs because we wanna have uh, inverse kinematics on the legs so it makes them easier to animate. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel for future videos that I make. You can click to your right to watch the next episode in this series or you can click on the left to watch the previous video.